Very handsome, isn't he? Not my type. So he was good at his job, you say? Very. My mother's just had to pay his ex £10,000 to stop her going to the police. Yeah, I'm sure she doesn't want it broadcast. Hardly a good job reference. OK, right, I never had a problem with him. You know, he handled money every day. He was great under pressure. I'm great under pressure. He's a con man. OK, people's bills were always bigger when he served them. There, I'm outed. He's very charming. Yes, well, what you call charming, I call slimy. Come on, let's get those olives. Right. Well, thank you. Hello. Hi there. Ah, don't tell me. A dry martini shaken, not stirred. No, no, just a dry white wine, please. <laughs> Is more double cross than double or seven? Heard you were sniffing around the bistro. Well, they do an excellent mule freed. Oh, well, I could have saved you the bother. My brother only employs on his people. Look, I understand you're angry. Right, we'll clear off then. Everybody knows what you've done. You never get a job round here. I've heard he's very good. He'll be snapped up. In fact, I was wondering if you'd like to work here. It's about this. I am. I can hire who I like. It's a barman you're after, I take it. Well, we could do with an extra pair of hands, and then if it works out, it might become permanent. Well, I'll certainly think about it. When, when would you want me to start? Now? Well, I have to go home and change. Well, there's no need. You look very dapper. Look, you can't give him a job. It'd be an insult to his victims. Like some round here, I'm prepared to give people a second chance. Well, you're not even going to interview him. Your brother was singing his praises earlier. He's a con man. Reformed? Well, um, uh, Stella won't like it. Stella left me in charge. This is a genuine offer of employment. Of course it is. I think you'd be a great asset. Oh, Hi, darling. love. Oh. Oh, now you look happy. Hasn't it given you your old job back? No, but as one door closes, uh, what would you like? Uh, g and tea, please. Large one? Yeah. May I? Be my guest. Uh, what's going on? Gloria's offered me a job. Working here? Well, he comes highly recommended by your grandson. Not that one, the nice one. Duck to water. There we go. Targa, bitter, guest bitter, which is Wilmslow Gold. Say that again. Wilmslow Gold. Oh, doesn't he talk lovely? <laughs> You're embarrassing me. I'm such a quick learner. Well, 50% of my work at the bistro was bar work. I could listen to you talk all night. Right, you've passed your trial. I've only been working here half an hour. Well, that's long enough for me to see that you are a natural. Well, he could charm the birds out of the trees. Yes, he can. Hello, Doctor. Oh, Mrs. Price, are you OK? Should you be working? Thank you for coming. The surgery said you rang in a bit of a state. It said you were at death's door. Oh, yes, it's just come through. Gloria. Oh, just We're running low on pound coins. Okay. Right, OK, yeah. You OK? Of course. Look, I, I, uh... I don't mean to pry, um... I've come at a bad moment. I'll see you in a minute. No, no, please stay. Have I upset you? I swore I wouldn't tell anybody, but no, I, I feel a need to share it with somebody, and you seem to be such a sensitive person. Share what? Oh, well, I hardly know you. I can't burden you with this. Well, if you want to talk to someone. I'm dying, Lewis. Astounded. You look so well. Well, I have good days and bad days, but it's only a matter of time. So vibrant, so full of life. But can nothing be done? Dr. Carter's just confirmed my worst fears. Well, you're a fighter, I can see that. I shouldn't have told you. I don't want any fuss. Fuss? Now, this is when you need the support of your family. No. No. Swear to me, you will not tell a soul. I want these last days to be happy days. When they first told me in Spain, I, I didn't believe it. I wanted a second opinion, and I wanted to come home to my family, but now that they've confirmed that what the Spanish doctor said was true, then I, I, I can't tell them. It, I can't land it on them. It would devastate them. Well, they'll find out eventually. But not yet. 
Not while I can still live a normal life. Come on. Let's get you those pound coins. Yeah. 